How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech. Today we're going to be looking at PSP emulation on the Switch. We're on Ubuntu, the latest version of the L4T build, which is 3.3.0. So with that comes all the performance improvements. So I wanted to get a test out to see how well PSP did. I am using RetroPie, which uses Emulation Station as a front end, but it is still being run with PPSSPP. And just from the outset, I want to say this is the best PSP emulation I have seen on the Switch in the tests that I have done myself personally. Now I've tested it on Horizon with the standalone PPSSPP. I've tested it under Android. I've tested it with Laka, and now I'm testing it here with Ubuntu with this latest build also enhancing the performance even more. So I was able to boost the resolution up to 3x in all of the games you'll see here except for two. And of those two, both of them were able to run fine just going down to 2x. And then as far as PPSSPP settings, I didn't change any of the default settings. As I said, most of these games were 3x, 2, I had to go down to 2x. Frame skip I did enable and I set it to 1 just so we can hit that 3x mark. Before we get into the gameplay, if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. That will help support the channel and it'll also let you know when more videos like this come out so you won't miss out on any of this emulation goodness.
guards will throw down dogs if they see you in their flashlight beams. Be ready to attack them. Press square to punch.
So as I said earlier, great performance here. I haven't been able to really get it all the way up to 3x consistently through the majority of the games I test in all the other methods that I have tested on the Switch. So this was a first. I was really excited about it. And another thing to think about, I don't go too crazy with each game's individual settings. So if you do go and fine tune each game one by one, you'll get even better performance than you saw here. If anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll try to help you best I can. On that note, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I hope the video was enjoyable. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope everybody has a great day.